we are all aware of the benefits of being part of a royal family, luxury would be the first on the list of those benefits. Well, it's basically the root of all the good things that come with your title. With the money you have, you get fame. With both, you get respect. Respect is not measured by how rich one is, but you know, it obviously adds. With money, fame, and respect, the life you want gets closer and closer to you. If you are the lucky soul who came to life as an inheritor of a crown or title, then having a lavish lifestyle won't be a problem at all. You can buy what you want anytime you want. How nice would that be? Well, the Saudi Arabian prince, Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, definitely knows that feeling. Being known as a prince with a lavish lifestyle today, we'll learn more about his lifestyle and how he spends his trillions. But first, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest in the luxury world. A Luxury Mindset, we bring you the luxurious information ranging from items, cars, houses, places, and even people who bathe in luxury. Not only that, but we also give you pretty much the amount you would need to purchase any of these luxurious stuff. So, if you are interested in the rich, becoming rich, or even dreaming of lying on a mattress of gold or dollar bills, click the notification bell to keep yourself updated on this channel. So, who exactly is Mohammed bin Salman al Saud? He is the Crown Prince Salman bin Abdulaziz and his third wife. When his father became king, his position has been ensured as well. Being a son of a king, he followed suit and now serves as the Prime Minister since September of 2022. To know more about Prince Salman, let's learn about his background. Since his family is incredibly wealthy, it is certain that he gets the kind of education every parent wants to give their children. He attended King Saud University in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, where he graduated in a bachelor's degree in law in 2007. After his educational endeavor, he proceeded to found firms and nonprofit organizations geared toward promoting entrepreneurship in the kingdom. In 2009, he became his father's personal assistant while serving as Riyadh's governor. When the former king, Nayef bin Abdul Aziz, died in 2012, his father ascended to the position at the age of 79. Along with his father's ascendance to the throne was the increase in their net worth. So, if you start to look into it, you'd get a huge amount of addition to their already existing wealth. Being part of the royal family, cameras follow you and people would know your history and your whereabouts, whoever you are. But Mohammed bin Salman is not only famous for his name, but what he does. Through the years, he has faced controversies. Two biggest controversies he had was his direct link to the murder of the Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi in the consulate of Saudi Arabia in Istanbul in October 2018, and the hacking of Jeff Bezos' smartphone, which was later then dismissed. His leadership also plays a crucial role in his fame since many people under him are not in favor of the type of leadership he instills. But then again, money and fame can surely get you somewhere, and sometimes can even offer you respect. The royal family has around 15,000 members with a net worth of $1.4 trillion. Hence why it is no surprise that Prince Salman is also a trillionaire, especially because he owns a large part of the accumulated wealth. That actually makes him the richest royal in Saudi Arabia. Apart from that, Mohammed bin Salman is also known for being an impulsive buyer. Nope, not just I want that type of impulsiveness, but rather it's the I want them all type. He's known for buying multiple pieces of the same thing he likes. He may not be able to use all of them, but who cares? What he wants, he gets. Examples of these purchases are a $500 million yacht, a $450 million Leonardo da Vinci painting, a $300 million French chateau, and so much more. Since he grew up in luxury, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has a thing for gold. In fact, his clothes are made of golden threads, rings that are made of expensive stones, even rare ones. And talking about food, he surely has an eating habit. Nope, it's not just any dine-in at high-end restaurants. Though he does that too, when he eats, he's got a taste. 
Imagine a culinary team importing various ingredients from all over the world. If you want croissants for breakfast, sushi for lunch, and tacos for dinner, his team would make that happen. Well, if you consider yourself a picky eater, you gotta have the wealth like Prince Salman to feed yourself with anything you desire. Apart from that, he's got various properties under his name. Since he is known for his impulsive buying habits, let's look at some of his purchases that cost him an arm and a leg. Starting off with his favorite 440-foot yacht, Serene, he purchased it after he saw it on his vacation in southern France and was looking into adding another one to his collection. It's priced at $500 million and, mind you, it's one of his decade-old collection of yachts. Serene has two hot tubs, a helipad, a helicopter hangar, multiple swimming pools, a movie theater that can cater to 20 to 30 people at a time, and a gym. The yacht is made for at least 24 guests in its 15 cabins, so if the prince holds a party in the yacht, it's totally possible. It's also perfect for intimate gatherings. Another is one renowned as the most expensive home in France. This chateau was built with the intention of replicating the Versailles Palace and was bought at the price of $300 million back in 2015. The purchase was only disclosed in 2017 and no reason has been said for the hiding of the purchase. This 7,000 square meter luxurious property's most eye-catching features are a gold-leafed fountain, an underwater glass chamber, and a cinema. According to the New York Times, Salman and his father, King Salman, can be found in a network of marble columned palaces and countryside retreats in Riyadh. The Al Yamama Palace frequently hosts foreign dignitaries and politicians. Reporters spotted gold plated Kleenex dispensers and gold chairs during President Obama's visit to the opulent Erga Palace. The royal family is said to own a number of other opulent residences around the world, including those in Switzerland, London, France, and Morocco. So where do all these luxuries come from? Well, if you are from a royal family, it is no surprise to have this much. However, the prince has more than the title to his name and the reason for his wealth. The royal family owns one of the largest companies in the world, Saudi Aramaco. It has a market capitalization of $1.819 trillion as of December 2022. It is the world's second most valuable company by market capitalization. Saudi Aramaco is a company that explores, produces, transports, and sells crude oil and natural gas. It operates in three segments, upstream, downstream, and corporate. Exploration, field development, and production of crude oil, natural gas, and natural gas liquids are all part of the upstream segment. The downstream segment is responsible for refining, logistics, power generation, and the marketing of crude oil, petroleum and petrochemical products, as well as related services to both international and domestic customers. Human resources, finance, and information technology are among the services provided by the corporate segment. It's even bigger than companies like Apple and Microsoft. I guess if you have that much, spending money on anything you want won't be a problem at all. If I were him, I'd probably just have a lavish of a lifestyle as he does. How about you? What would you do if you were as rich as Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud? Leave us a comment below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to keep yourself updated on our upcoming videos. Here at Luxury Mindset, we bring you the latest in the luxury world. We'll see you next time.